What I would do in a situation like this is I would read uh, the two of them and see who's more comfortable uh, in front of the camera. And then what I'm going to do is take the one that is the most comfortable and start photographing them. So when I first uh, started chatting, I saw that, that I would have chosen uh, Demi to be more comfortable or more confident uh, uh, over Emmett. It's not a big deal. Don't stress. Um, so I would start with her. You know, so many times when you think about couple shoots, ooh, excuse me, so many times when you think about couple shoots, uh, you just get your client in blue jeans and a white shirt and meet you down at the local park, a uh, couple of pictures together, looking at each other, a whole lot of cliched poses um, without really putting too much thought process into it. I am going to shoot individual shots of her uh, that are going to be attractive to her parents. Um, I'm going to shot, shoot shots of, of Emmett that's going to be attractive to his family, to, to his dad and to his grandparents if they're still, uh, still around. Um, and then I'm going to shoot images that he would like to carry in his wallet of her, similarly the other way around as well. So images that are uh, not specific. I'm not going to do dodgy things. I'm just going <laughs> to make sure that, that we've got images that are not... Uh, that. that facilitate a lot of different emotional expectations. So, Emmett, take a seat on the box over there, my friend. You just watch what's going to go on. So, I know that Demi is, you see this, she's already leaning in towards me. She's, her body language is point coming towards me. She's really key. Let's get this thing going. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with very, very easy posing uh, and something that's not going to be intimidating to a client who's not necessarily a model. Uh, you guys are models, uh, you've got experience, but we're going to assume that you're not, okay? So what I would start off with, uh, first of all, is if you turn your body in towards the light, we've got the, the, the light over there, um, and I'm doing this really because of the broadside lighting, narrow side lighting, although we've got quite flat lighting going on over here. This is a really cool uh, tool over here behind us with the with the box light. So what I would do is I'd just take your hair off your shoulder here, if you don't mind. That's cool. And what I'm going to do there is um, take a very easy shot that is going to be uh, kind of the opening for the uh, album, uh, thinking about the layout of the album uh, in terms of as I'm shooting. So I'm going to shoot and then tell you what I'm thinking as I'm shooting. So as you are, there we go, that's cool. <laughs> right, as you are over there, keep your shoulders exactly where they are. Just turn your chin in towards your shoulders even more. Let's go. Beautiful. All right, so there we go, looking straight into the lens. And it's very, very easy. It's not difficult for her whatsoever. And the reason I'm making it not difficult for her is because I want Emmett to be comfortable when he looks at what we're doing going, that's not so difficult, I can do that. So I'm looking at the psychological implications of doing stuff over here um, with Demi right now. If I had to make Demi do extravagant poses and fancy lighting setups, it would freak him out and I wouldn't get any uh, good shots of him. So I need him to look at this and go, come on, that's pretty easy, right?